Hey guys, my name is Reagan, and I've never made a YouTube video before, but I kind of want to. And I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how to edit or do any of that stuff. But we're going to figure it out together, and I'm assuming it's going to be really bad. But I'm excited because I'm rereading all of Sarah J. Bass's books. I've finished the first four books in Akatar, and I'm like 20% through A Court of Silver Flames. I'm reading out my Kindle, currently dead, so let's charge it up. And... Reading Reading Crescent City with my mom, and I am approximately 116 pages in this far. Ta da! And I'm tabbing it, surprisingly. And here are the tabs I'm gonna use. Then, I'm also <laughs> reading The Assassin's Blade with my friend Vanessa. She hasn't read any of this before. I finished the first novella and I'm currently on the second one. I'm on page 94. Also gonna tab this one as well and here's the one's amazing for that. And I am reading all of these as preparation for House of Flame and Shadow that comes out in January and I am hoping that I'll be able to finish all of these books by January 30th but I this happened in like two days. I feel like I could read about 50 pages a day so maybe we should do some math and see if that's even possible. There's about 738 pages of books that I need to read without, I didn't include Akasif because I don't know, page one. So it's gonna be actually more than this total. But if you divide that by the days, I already forgot the amount of days, it's like 54 or something like that. I have to read 123 pages a day. I do not have time for that like actually let's be for real right now I currently in grad school so I don't have time while grad school is still going but I'm dropping out so there's like two more weeks of school left that I'm not gonna be able to read that much maybe like 50 pages a day however after that winter break all the time in the world I'll still be working but I read a lot at work so I, I think we can do it. I think so. Because I feel like winter break, all I'm going to want to do is do Christmassy things and read. So I could probably read like 200 pages some days. So I feel like it could add up to work out. That makes sense, right? And then January, I won't be in school. And I don't have a, a real job. I have like a kid job. So I could read at the job all the time. And I won't be working all the time because there's like a maximum amount of hours. So I think this could work out. January, I'll be grinding hard though. And I don't know if I told you the order that I'm going to read these in, but I'll explain. So Vanessa is almost done with the Assassin's Blade. So this first order of business, if she finishes it and moves on to Throne of Glass, I'm also going to move on to Throne of Glass and then finish that. And then I'm assuming I'll finish Throne of Glass before her. And then while she's finishing Throne of Glass, I'm going to finish Agassif. And then I'm assuming she's going to be done again. And then I'm pretty sure it's Crown of Midnight. Yes. Then we're probably going to have to read Crown of Midnight. And then I'm guessing I'm going to finish it before her again. Here comes Crescent City. <laughs> My dog wants to play. So then Crescent City. And... It's probably gonna be like a repeating process. Like she finishes, I need to move on the and throw of glass, come back. She moves on again, I move on again, then come back. So yeah, it's gonna get done. But this week I wanna do a reading vlog. So today's Sunday and today is homework day. So this whole day, I am going to be doing homework. So we're gonna start tomorrow and I'll give you like daily updates on what happens. So yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, today is Tuesday, and I am gonna tell you what happened between Sunday and today. Um, so Sunday, my friend Vanessa, as we know, called, and we FaceTimed a little bit and read a little bit, which I was not planning to do because I was planning to do my homework, but that didn't happen. We read a little bit, so I started the 123 pages a day, like a day early, but I read like 60 some pages, and then Monday, I read like 70 some pages. So in total, it equals 142. So surpassed the 123. 
So today we still need to read our 123 pages. And I think we could do it. But yesterday, let me tell you my schedule so you know like what's going on. But on Mondays, I work an hour and a half away. So I wake up at 5.30, leave my house at like 6, 6.30, drive an hour and a half to, I, I'm a lab tech for archeology. span So I drive there, work in the lab a little bit. And then I work from like 8.30 to like noon. And then I take a break from noon to two. And that's when I read Eat Lunch, blah, blah, blah. That's when I read all of these pages. I didn't read when I got home. And then I go back to the lab from 2 to 5.30. And then I drive home from 5.30 to 7.30 because there's traffic. And then I get home, I had to like clean the dishes, make dinner, clean the house, feed my dog. Yesterday, however, none of that happened. Like when I got home, none of that happened. I put some corn dog nuggets in the oven, as I do. And then I get a call that my grandma's in the hospital. So I had to go there all night, like until like 10. And then I came home and went to bed. And then this morning, I took my dog to the vet, did the dishes, and what time is it? It's 11 a.m. Now we're gonna read. I finished, I will update. I'm on page 236. I finished The Assassin in the Desert and I wanted to share a little portion but also there's gonna be spoilers for the next minute so hold on let me find the page and then i'll show you okay assassin's blade we're on page 127 right now and it's this way it's Lena is meeting ansel for the first time and she describes her as it like the most beautiful person she's ever seen it wasn't just her wide red hair or the color of her eyes a red brown selena had never seen before I have seen someone with a bright, wide red hair and amber color eyes, and that is Bryce. I have seen her. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna turn the page. We're 128, right at the top. So, wait, that was right at the bottom. Flip the page, we're right at the top now, on 128. The right shoulder was fashioned into a, she's talking about her armor, by the way. The right shoulder was fashioned into a snarling wolf's head and her helmet tucked into the crook of her arm featured a wolf wolf hunched over the nose guard. Another wolf's head has been molded into the pommel of her bronze sword. On anyone else, the armor might have looked my boy and ridiculous, but on the girl, there was a strange boy sort of carelessness to her. So her, her family crest is a wolf. Her whole armor is made out of wolves, and she looks like Bryce. And as we know, life, Bryce is like an honorary wolf. Like, that can't be a coincidence. Like, and I know they're all connected, so like, why why say any of that if it doesn't mean anything at all? So, theory, I don't know. Like, that could just be nothing, but like, when, when does Sarah J. Bass not mean anything by that? Like, everything means something. So, we're gonna continue reading. The only plans I have today, I have work at 4 p.m until 7 30 and i'm gonna probably go christmas shopping before work so i'm gonna read go christmas shopping come home read some more probably read with better asset today so that's the plan i'll let you know how it goes probably tomorrow morning well no wednesdays i also go to the lab so i'll probably see you thursday <laughs> and i'll update you Wednesday and I just got home from the lab and I can't pick up really bad so we're staying in bed and we're 
like the plants that happened yesterday where i was supposed to read 123 pages i read like 30 because we shopped all day and then i went to work came home went to bed so now today went to the lab i got a longer break today so i read quite a bit and we're trying the good the goal adding up yesterday and today's is to finish this and then we had to read to about page 47 in this but i'll probably finish the chapter that it's on because i don't i don't want to stop in the middle so what's happening right now is sam just died uh yeah so she just went psycho in farron's house and she just like woke up after the smoke and she's about to be sent away. So we're like, we're literally at the end. I'm on page 416. Like this is, that's all I have left. Also look at the tabs. They're looking so cute. I These ones, when they were like on the little, like the bookmark, they were a lot darker on here and it was literally like the exact colors of this and this. But now they're a lot lighter by himself. But, oh, they're so cute. And I ordered a ton. I think it was like 3,000 of them, like total, on Amazon for $13. So, because I'm going to run out. <laughs> and I want to tab this whole series. And I'm debating on if I want to, like, underline or highlight things. Because I put tabs, like, on certain things that I wanted to, like, remember. But I don't know. I'm scared to write in them or like highlight them. I'm, t I'm terrified too. So if you guys think I should, tell me. But I'm scared. But I want to like remember them. And I want to remember exactly what I put the tab for. Like what if I forget? I'm like, oh, what did I even mean by that? So I don't, I don't know. I'm scared. But we need to get to page 47 today. So plans for the rest of the night. Eat dinner. I have a bunch of laundry over there. So if I'm feeling better, we gotta do that. But I don't think I'm going to. And then, yep, that's the plan. So I'll update you on that. And I might call Vanessa and read. And if I do that, you won't see me read. But if I don't, then you'll see it. So yeah. Okay, it's a little bit later. Just finished Assassin's Blade. Me and Vanessa did call, so did see any of that. When I finished it, here's the tabs in it. There's like, okay, things that happened at the end that like actually mattered, I thought. Or maybe I just started the beginning of Throat of Glass. So maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Where's that? It's when she's getting sentenced and she's meeting the king for the first time and she can see the darkness swirling around him and we know who the king is so we know why that's happening like the fact that that happened it, we, i just like completely missed it the first time and didn't understand what that meant it's kind of crazy but the tattoos are pretty i'm so excited i'm gonna put this back on the show beautiful i love the new covers and how they actually like matter to the story because like this scene literally happens at the end and now we're on to throat of glass just started it. i'm on page 16 i'm gonna try to get to page 47 is that what i told y'all or finish whatever chapter it's on and then when we were on the call vanessa finished throat of glass so now she is on to crown of midnight so that means i need to finish this whole thing before i can go back to Axif or crescent city and finish this whole thing before I can go back to them. So we gotta do that. And tomorrow, I work from 4 to 10 p.m. In the morning, it's my dog's birthday, so we're going to my boyfriend's work to take a picture of her. And I think that's my only plan besides reading. So we're gonna try and get through as much as this. We're gonna bring this along, see if we can finish this whole thing. But tonight, we're staying in bed and we're reading this. So I'll give you updates if something happens. I'll let you know. Okay, I forgot to update you, but I got two books today. Because last week I ordered, or I got Shattered Man Barnes & Noble. 
and I read the first one and then I looked up what's the next one I'm supposed to read and apparently it's destroy me but I didn't have this so I ordered it and then I read the second one after this and then I read this I think correct me if I'm wrong but so I got this it's so little it's so adorable and then also got this one I think this is like the very last thing in the series you're supposed to read so I'm not gonna read anything about this <laughs> like nothing on the back nothing I don't want to I don't want to spoil anything for myself and I ordered a third one of these that I think is like in the middle between these like we'll put them all together and we'll figure it out but that one's coming tomorrow even though I ordered it at the same time so I'm not sure what's going on with that and I also wanted to update you on audiobooks I was reading this week on Monday I finished The Last Hero by Rick Riordan it's in the Percy Jackson series and I thought it was really good I just if that was me in that story I would be very traumatized after it everyone seems like dandy and fine so I'm kind of nervous to see what's gonna happen if it's gonna go downhill after that like in the the lost hero I think that's the next one which is in what's that series like I don't know the series name but the lost hero is the next one. Oh, heroes of Olympus heroes of Olympus and the lost here is the first one that I started reading that before I read Percy Jackson I was like this like I feel like I'm doing it wrong so then I went back so now I only read like one single chapter so now I'll go back to the lost hero and we'll listen to that but first we're listening to the last book of the inheritance games which is the final gambit and I really like the inheritance games but I have no idea what's happening all the time and I'm having a good time when I read it but then when I'm not like listening to it I don't remember a single thing so I'm not sure what that means about how I feel about the book but during the actual listening experience I'm having a good time and I'm like 70% through that book I have like three hours left because since they have accents I can't listen to it super fast so I had to listen to it on like normal one time speed so I have to listen to it for the whole entire time I have three hours left and I'm going to the lab Friday so I'll finish that Friday, just thought I'd let you know. And then if it's like a little bit less than three hours or I like listen to it a little tomorrow in the car and then Friday coming into it, I'll download The Lost Hero too. So just thought I would update you on that. So one book finished this week, The Lost Hero. Then Assassin's Blade finished, two books. Then hopefully we can finish this and hopefully we finish the final gamut. Yeah, you already done the plans for right now, so I'll let you go. Shower, got ready for the day, and I want to update you guys on the fast. I got 40 pages in, which is seven pages behind the goal for yesterday. So, page 170, and then I work at four today. Um, so when I'm at work, I can read a little bit. So, I'm guessing when I'm at home today, I'm gonna read until 170, and then when I go to work, I'll add however much I want to read onto that because last night Vanessa finished it so we gotta catch up so that's the plans for today so you'll see that in a few minutes everyone it's Sophie's birthday today so I'm so excited we're gonna go get a picture date <laughs> I will oh she's leaving time to read
is now Friday morning and I ended up not having to go to the lab today so I didn't have to go to like Harrisonburg but I do have to this morning I already cleaned my room we're doing laundry so we're gonna have to switch that fold that and then fold another one and then we need to do the dishes clean up the kitchen and water all of the plants and now we can get to the reading. And the reading today, last night, well yesterday, we got to page 170, which was exactly where we needed to be to hit the 123 goal. So I'm at the part, what's even happening right now? Oh, um, this is like Nehemia and Zelena becoming besties. Um, they're like starting up their lessons together and conspiring and Selena just learned what word marks are and he is being all secretive about it and you can tell she's being secretive about it but today we need to get to okay let's math together 170 plus 123 293 I think where is that how far Oh, and 294 is out of a chapter, so let's do that. This much is what we're going to read, attempt to read today. But I do work from 12 to 10 p.m., and it's 10 a.m. right now, and you heard all those things we need to do before we can read. So we'll see. We might be staying up very late tonight. It's Brayden's best friend's birthday tonight, so we might not be here after 10 p.m. and then I can read after that because if he's here he's just gonna bother me. <laughs> I won't be able to read any. So we'll see if I'm gonna read from chapter 24 to 39 and that's the place for today and if I read here you'll see it. If I read at work you will not. So I'll let you know. Today is Saturday. I just got finished with work. It's what time is it? 1 30 p.m. We have more things to do today. But I'll tell you about yesterday. We got to page 298, which is five pages over what we were trying to get to. Killing it. So maybe we can actually finish all of this before the 30th and have a little break before House of Flame and Shadow. But what is happening? Oh, you can hear my dog eating in the background. But I uh, we found out like in a session that Nehemia lied about knowing the common language, like knows more than she thinks, knows about world marks, blah, 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 blah. The trials are almost over. There's only like two days left. She went to the ball. Everyone was like, oh my God, who's that? Not seen everything. Uh, Dorian's basically in love with her. Or I'm in love with Dorian. So yeah. Vanessa still simping over Kale. Not me will never be me but she's on crown of midnight as y'all know so the goal for today it's about oh gosh math we need to read 123 pages and we're on 298 so let's math together okay god the eight plus three eleven so one a one on the end one twenty nine plus three 10, 11, 12. Okay. I already forgot the first number. Oh, a one. And then. Okay. You know what? We're going to finish this today and I'll calculate. I'll calculate and let you know how much of Crown Midnight we're going to read. But I, the place for today, clean the kitchen again, do dishes. I have an audiobook I would like to finish. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's the final gambit. As y'all know, it's due in two days, but what else am I going to do it? So I might do some diamond darts and, and like if I don't finish the audiobook while we're cleaning and doing all of this, yeah. And then we're finishing this today, moving on to Crown of Midnight today. We need to catch up to Vanessa ASAP. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs>
audiobook for the final gambit while I was doing chores and doing the diamond painting. So now, time to finish this bad boy. We're still in the same spot that I showed you earlier. We're gonna finish it. I also made a decision, even though I asked y'all what I should do. I thought I spilled that. I went back in the Assassin's Blade, I went to all the tabs, and I like bracketed and underlined like some of the things is what an option like just like general information like things I thought I would know or like things I know are foreshadowing or if it was just like a quote or something all the things I I wrote in it it's the first time I've ever written a book I did it guys like you would never know looking at it that I did that it's so it's fine and it didn't bleed through like I'm okay mentally I'm okay <laughs> I thought I would not be but I did that and I kind of liked doing it afterwards like going through and being like oh why did I put this tab here like what does this mean so I think I'm going to like continue just tabbing it all of it and then going back and underlining and bracketing the things I wanted to bracket I think I liked that. And then it's like a little review of what I just read. So now we're gonna watch, um, I think Katie is reading and Cassandra Lynn, I, is that her YouTube name? All I know is Cass. <laughs> so they did reading sprints this morning, but I had to work so I couldn't watch them. So now we're gonna watch them and read to that. So yeah, I'll update you when I finish that. I had to pause because they're kissing Dorian is Elena and I love Dorian I can't I forgot it's like it just happened out of nowhere like I forgot that this is how it happens I love him I love them <laughs> Throne of Glass. Here's all the tabs. I tabbed a lot of things. And one thing I specifically noticed this reread that I haven't seen anyone talk about or anything is when Zelina was poisoned with the bloodbane at the end of the book. Um, it says that you can like see through the veil, and, like see the other realms. And people who don't need bloodbane to do that are seers. Like seers don't need bloodbane to see through. And then we find out Nehemia can see through the veil. So she's a seer. And Elaine's a seer. It's like, they're both seers. Seers can see beyond the veil. We haven't seen Elaine, at least I don't think we've seen Elaine see through the veil, like of her own world. And I, I wonder if she has, and we don't know about it. When she gets her own book, like how could she, like, Everything she's seeing, you can just see through the veil. I don't know how it works, but I thought that was an observation that was worthwhile of making. Okay, you're shaking the whole bed. My goodness, how do you look? Oh. Oh. 
you see the clip earlier of the we were doing diamond art and she climbed into my lap and she wouldn't get down i was in an office chair <laughs> oh my god um we did the reading experience with katie's reading and yeah it is kiss and relent and now i'm on reagan's reading she's a dancer in london love her so now we're doing rain sounds rain sprints finish this i uh my hold for babel just came in as an audiobook so tomorrow we're gonna be listening to that after we do 123 pages but finish this and we have to read to page 17 in this to be done today but let's see if that ends on a good end point oh it doesn't it's the first page of a chapter so let's see how far we're gonna go okay we're gonna read to page 22 that's the plan and if Brayden plays the game tonight, we're gonna keep reading. I also wrote down the stuff in Throat of Glass, like underlined it with this. Don't know how to say that. However, I don't like it. So we're gonna find another pen. But yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. It is now, oh my God. It's the first time I talk this morning. Um, Sunday morning. And <laughs> so many, okay, um, I did not end up starting Crown of Midnight yesterday, so didn't get to the 17 pages. <laughs> so many, literally in the corner. Um, so we need to read 140 pages today. I have no plans today. I thought I was supposed to babysit, but I got the plans mixed up. Um, got another audiobook, so we're gonna read audiobook um this morning i woke up at like 5 30 to extremely loud thunder like it was storming and sophie was crying up a storm um uh, during the storm and um brain thought someone was breaking into the house because it was so loud so he like searched the house <laughs> so i did not go back to bed and i'm not tired and like I was tired then, but not tired enough to go back to sleep. Like usually when I'm up, I'm up. So we put on Home Alone, but it was so bright. We turned that off and Bird went to bed. And I started watching Mulan. Um, this is my favorite Disney princess movie. So I started watching that and I finished that. Showered, got ready for the day. Now, we're starting the second Mulan movie, so we're gonna watch that while we read. And probably start the live action one too, <laughs> because, yeah. But it's a gloomy day outside. I'll show you, and we'll read. And that's the plans for today. Yeah. The audiobook is Babel by R.F. Guam. I started reading it a while ago, like during field school. And it was too hard to read. So I'm gonna start the audiobook like where I left off. And yeah, I'll let you know. and as soon as I saw Raina's name come up I started bawling like there are tears going down my face right now oh my god I can't deal with this this is so sad and you know what I'm talking about <laughs> let me read a little more so I can read the line to you any last words I've worked for 10 years to become famous enough to gain an invitation to this castle. 10 years so I could come here to sing the songs of magic that you tried to wipe out. So I could sing those songs and you would know that we are still here. That you may outlaw magic, that you may slaughter thousands. But we who keep the old ways still remember. My daughter was 16. 16 when you burned her. Her name was Colleen. 
and she had eyes like thunderclouds, and I still hear her voice in my dream. My sister was 36. Her name was Leasa, and she had two boys who were her joy. My neighbor and his wife were 70. Their names were John and Ezra. They were killed because they dared to try to protect my daughter when your man came for her. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't deal with this. And look at the, the situation we're in right now. <laughs> She's making it very hard to read right now. But that's where we're at. This is page 120. We need 20 more to go. And then we're done for the day. But. <laughs> look at her. Oh my god. <laughs> for today we needed to get to page 140 and i finished off on 148 like to get to the next chapter and there was a lot of stuff i noticed this time like about like dorian's powers manifesting like you could see a lot of signs more than i realized and the last thing i read is when he comes to her room like after like he's literally just gained his powers and it said he turned for a heartbeat there was something in his eyes that reminded her of a world long since burned and then it's like the sentence is cut off but we all know what that means so i got to page 148 and kind of midnight so this throughout the whole week we uh read and finished assassin's blade all here's all the tabs i also marked all the chapters I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> That's a lot. I'm just gonna mark like the things I think I need to remember or like quotes I like, things like that. But I love this book so much. It's just the novellas. Like as you know, like this whole thing is spoilers. So you already know what this is about. I just, I love Sam. I really love him and he would have made a good king. He would have made such a good king and it makes me so sad like to go back and read about him and then have to hear about him over and over again throughout the books makes me very very sad and then we started and finished throne of glass i kind of like the color palette on this i know everyone hates this but i love the new covers there's the tabs on this one i also did the chapters on this as you know I'm not doing that again a ton of stuff i noticed in this one like that final battle like when she's come dueling against Cain and she can see through the veil and sees all the demon beasts and Elena comes and saves her wearing a crown of stars like f falling through the sky like Zelena thinks she's a star like that reminds me of Starfall you can't tell me otherwise and then the fact they say people who like can see through the veil that don't need bloodbane are seers and Nehemia can see through the veil so she's a seer Elaine's a seer. She's like, can Elaine see through the veil? We don't know about it. I don't know. So many questions that have like arose and like the rings are coming up. You know what the rings are. Caltain is still a bad one in this one, as you know. Like, I don't know. It just makes me so sad. And there's so many hints about who Selena is that I just did not pick up on the first time. Literally so many things that I I feel like I should have seen, but I did not the first time. And then we just talked about Crown of Midnight. We started this 148 pages in. We're going to continue this throughout this upcoming week in part two of this video. I don't know how many parts it's going to be. Because we read, what, like two and a third books this week. And we still have one, two, three, four, five Throne of Glass books that get longer and longer and then we have the first crescent city that i'm like 100 pages in and then we haven't even started the second one i think we could do it oh and axif vanessa's coming over tonight 
And I'm going to catch up to where she is in Carmen Midnight when she's on page 165. So that's only a few more pages, and I'll read that when she gets here. And then she's going to continue reading that, so she's going to get ahead of me. And then I'm going to read Act Sif because she already finished it, and I'm only like 150 pages into that. And I have that on my Kindle. So we're going to do that. And I also, here's Akhtar back here. I reread re them on my Kindle, so I like made all the quotes and tabs and stuff on the Kindle. So if I finish like all of these books and have like extra time, I'll probably go back and like physically tab those like from my Kindle annotations. And that'll be like a little review session. So yeah, this is all the books we read this week. This, this, and getting there. So yeah, we're gonna do it guys. But that's all for this week. Bye.